everyone, welcome to Yankee Now with Melly Mel. I'm Melissa. Today, I am bringing you the latest box by the Wizarding Trunk. This is part of their quarterly subscription service, and the theme is the Key Keeper. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so like I said, today we are opening the latest box by the Wizarding Trunk. This is part of their quarterly subscription service. On the front it says the High Security Vault and the theme for this box is the Key Keeper. Now this was announced back in, I want to say October, November and I believe he was just around the time where uh, Ruby Coltane, the actor that played Hagrid, had passed away. So when I saw that this was announced, because originally on their Instagram, it was announced as the Keeper of Keys and a Magical Beast, something along those lines. I mean, that definitely screams Hagrid to me. So I just felt like this box, which is going to be uh, great to honor Hagrid, right? So I cannot wait to see what's inside the box. It has some really cool designs and I was looking at all these symbols all over the box. I don't recognize any of them, but this one right here that kind of looks like a number four. This is actually a symbol for Jupiter, the planet Jupiter. Um, so that is totally one of these symbols that I recognize, but uh, I'm gonna stop talking and uh, let's go ahead and open this box. <laughs> Ooh, I see some cool stuff. Let's uh, jump right in. Okay, so here we have what it looks like, some oven mitts, which I absolutely love. By the way, my apologies. If you hear a dog barking, it's my neighbor's dog. It's not my dog's. Sorry about that, but look at these really cool oven mitts. Um, they do have a tag that says the wizard angel. These are definitely some Hagrid size gloves, right? And it has these really cute hot peppers all throughout the mittens. I really like this practical item and I love that we have two so we can actually use these really cool oven mitts. Super cool way to start our box and Okay, so we have to go to this. It says the keeper of your keys. Now, in the most uh, recent box with the wizarding trunk, we also had keys. So I am going to assume these are going to be keys as well. I am so excited. Oh, <laughs> this is a freaking awesome. This is just like a big key ring, right? And then technically, we could just put all the keys that we have been getting in here and it has this as well just to kind of clip it on something this is super cool you guys okay i really really like that that's one great way to display all the keys that we have been getting or at least some of them right and there is more oh i see a pin <gasps> I love this. I I love this so much. Um, this is the perfect tribute to Hagrid, you guys. Look at this. I love that we have this. I mean, I have been loving these portrait pin series, but I love that we have Hagrid. This is the perfect tribute. I love this. I love this so much. So far, I love everything we have gotten, the oven mitts, the key ring, and the pin. And, oh, we have pumpkin spice tea. This is really cool. It's a black tea, pumpkin seeds, apple pieces, elderberry, cinnamon, orange peel, and ginger. So I am going to open this. I'm curious to see if this is actually tea i'm not much of a tea drinker but like i'm curious to actually see this so i'm gonna open it up i love the packaging i think the little tin box it came in is super super cute okay let's see oh <laughs> oh it smells so good oh it smells so good oh it is actually tea Okay, 
this is so cool i really love all the functional items i have a mess right now <laughs> with all the tea that kind of spilled on my table but let me show you close-ups of everything so far You know, as I was showing the close-ups for the tea, I noticed that on the other side of the tin for the tea, it's this giant pumpkin seeds. You know, we can get some giant pumpkins from Hagrid's Patch. So, so cool. And I love the way the tea smells. Even if I don't use this for tea, I mean, I'm assuming it is tea because it does say tea on the back. <laughs> um, I feel like it would make like for great potpourri because it smells amazing. Okay, so far I have loved everything. So let's see what else we have in here. So it looks like we have um, some kind of bottle. <laughs> so let's see what we have in here. <gasps> this is so cool. We have unic unicorn hair collected after shed from an adult male unicorn. This was bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. This is so cool, you guys. You know, the unicorn hair made me think of like Hagrid's ride over at Universal. Uh, when you get to the one part where you see the unicorns, um, spoiler alert, <laughs> uh, towards the end, that's so cool. Okay, so we have some bigger items in here. It's this Storm Woods Magical Creature Rescue. So, uh, pretty cool theming on the box. Um, it feels like it's probably going to be something fragile, something maybe displayable because I could definitely hear this styrofoam inside. Um, so let's see what we have. Oh, oh my gosh, it's Buckbeak. It's Buckbeak. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I love this. Yes, I am going to keep on saying this. I love this box. I have loved every single item we have taken out of the box so far. We still have a few more items in here. Okay, it says unlocking magic. So I am going to assume this is going to be a key. So let's see if we can open this. And oh, I love it. Oh my God. Uh, is it boar's head? Yeah, with the, the boar. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. This is so cool, you guys. Oh. Also, I always say this. <laughs> I got into Harry Potter later in life already in my 30s. So if I see something that I don't quite recognize, bear with me. I feel like I always have to throw that little disclaimer out there. But um, hog's head. Hog's head. I was like, boar head. Um, this is so cool. We have a little hog in here. So cute. And we still have a few more things in here. So let's go ahead and take this out. And it looks like uh, we have some uh, paper items in here. And now we have a empty box. So I'm going to get rid of that so we have some more room here. So let's continue with the item that is in the box, whatever this is. So let's see what we have. Okay, it's something that also has styrofoam, so I'm assuming it's going to be another displayable piece, right? Oh, look at this, you guys! Oh, I love it! Oh my goodness! Okay, 
that was adorable and we have we have a pin oh grill keepers assisted this is great because this pin goes with a shirt that we got in our previous box which if you haven't seen the most recent the professor's bi-monthly box i'm gonna link it right here we have a shirt that has the same logo and i love that they made this into a pin too all right so let's get into our paper products here we have another page for our magical creatures a to z binder here we have the kelpie and on the back we have the kraken so that's pretty cool oh and here we have the enchanter which is our little magazine kind of like the quibbler that is really cool so i'm just gonna go straight to the horoscope because it tends to have the horoscope and i always find that so fun uh, let's see what we have here all righty oh i just noticed something the enchanter has some lucky runes here now those runes are all over the box but one of them the one that is like that upside down like this uh in the reverse does look like a jupiter it's just upside down on this design so that is pretty cool that they do have that there oh they have rowena's featured crystal so this month's featured crystal is amber amber is the fossilized resin of a tree this gemstone's color and beauty have been admired since ancient times amber can be used for love purification and healing specifically problems with the bladder kidneys and throat that is so cool i actually do have a piece of amber and um i actually did a reel on this but if you flash a uv light or a black light in amber i believe it glows green if i remember so that is pretty cool and let's go over the horoscope i am a libra mine says this is a golden age you have brilliant ideas and the discipline to take action a fluffy ginger ginger cat will cross your path Ooh, this is really really cool you guys i always find the enchanter to be really cool oh look at this oh i love this i wonder if jp missile crow um designed this it is so pretty oh Hagrid. okay oh we have one more thing here here we have oh recipe to make rock cakes how cool is this we have the ingredients and the directions on the back super cool super magical and here we have our cheat sheet so let's go through our cheat sheet the keeper of keys and magical beast you see that's what it said on instagram when they were announcing this box uh, but the email that i got um, with my tracking number for the box it just says the key keeper but it is the keeper of the keys and magical beast the first item in this box is the creature page. This creature page was ripped right out of Magical Creatures A to Z, written by the Wizarding Trunk by Wizardry Workshop. Item number two is a dragon egg handling oven mitts. Super cute, that is by Wizardry Workshop. Item number three is the dragon's egg. Grab your oven mitt. It looks like your dragon egg is starting to hatch what shall we call this baby dragon design in-house this is a the wizarding trunk exclusive item number four is the portrait pin that was also designed in-house by the wizarding trunk next we have the gate keys this key topped with a winged boar will get you into the gate the padlock for the gate has been shrunk to fit into your pocket should you need to lock the gate simply enlarge the padlock this was designed by jp missile crow that's another the wizarding trunk exclusive item number six it is the rock cakes recipe by the wizardry workshop item number seven is the hippogriff Perfect. this was designed in-house it's another the wizarding trunk exclusive item number eight is the enchanter magazine that was by the wizardry workshop Item number nine is the groundskeeper assistant pin that is designed by the wizardry workshop. 
Item number 10 is the giant pumpkin seeds that was designed by the Wizardry Workshop. It says this tin of giant pumpkin seeds would taste great if steeped in hot water for three to five minutes. These giant pumpkin seeds will taste just like pumpkin spice tea. It's practically magic. Designed by the Wizardry Workshop, created for us by Half Blood Holistic. So that's really cool. It does smell really good. So again, if I don't use it for tea, I'm gonna just use it as potpourri because it smells amazing. Um, item number 11 is the key holder. This key holder is perfect for any half giant with a few dozen keys to lug around. We have included several extra key loops for any of your past keys that may not have included them. This was designed in-house. It's another The Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Item number 12 is the Unicorn Hair. This was by Here Be Monsters. It's another The Wizarding Trunk exclusive. And item number 13 is the Groundskeeper's Cabin. And it was designed by JP Mistlecrow. I knew that right away as soon as I saw the artwork on it. That's another The Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Luzav. So this is really cool. We have some ads here right on the cheat sheet and at the very bottom it says the next quarterly theme is favorite witches and wizards. How exciting. Now let's go over favorites and least favorites. Okay so right off the bat I can tell you this has been one of my favorite boxes in a very long time. I absolutely love every single item we have in here. I think it's a great tribute to Hagrid, uh, to Ruby Coltane. I think that every item was so well thought out and the variety of items is so nice. I honestly am having a hard time picking a favorite item because as the items were coming out of the box, I was like, this is my favorite, but this is my favorite, but this is my favorite. So it's really hard to pick a favorite. Um, so I'm just gonna cheat and say, I don't even know what to say, you guys. I mean, I love the box so much. I mean, everything is so special, but if I really do have to pick a favorite, I would probably have to say Hagrid's pin for sure and the oven mitts for sure and our little buck beak right here i would say i guess those are my favorites if i need to pick a favorite i don't have a least favorite item i think all the items are really really good um yeah i don't have a least favorite let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this box which item was your favorite and least favorite as usual if you love the things that i talk about definitely subscribe comment like and hit that notification bell so that you can keep winking out with me. Bye!